arch rivals at Veda and Letran are set to go head to head once again in the championship round of the NCA. The night seal day final showdown with a four peat seeking Red Lions after taking down the San Sebastian Stags and the LPU Pirates in the stepladder semis. They're here with us to tackle the NCA Season 95 Finals is former Sagbeda Red Lion Borgi Arvida and NCA analyst Mikey Reyes. Okay, NCA Finals naman tayo. So na ko na si Borgi, before you proclaim the San Beda will win in three games, <laughs> eh gusto mo na magbigay po guys sa letran, Fran Yu. You were so impressed with Fran Yu in the stepladder. Bakit? Yes, actually, naka-20 points siya and 5 rebounds. So, ito na yung pinakamagandang game niya all throughout the season. So, he has to play the way he played last game against San Beda in the finals. With Muyang naman, uh, ka-19 points siya and 9 rebounds. So, siya ang matchup ni Donald Tangkua. So, these, these two guys will play like a, uh, sila ang star player sa Letran. Parang tayo mo sinasabi, Borgi, at the end of the semi, sasabihin mo, San Beda in three. Iikot-ikot mo pa kami. Kanyari pang may chance. At tayo mo gusto, may mga pa-prax shout-out-shout-out ko pa sa Letran. Di ba, mamaya, sasabihin mo, San Beda in three. Palubag-loob lang pala yan, palubag-loob. Para naman, mabigyan natin ang mga excite na mga televiewers natin. No, but okay, Mikey, let's go to Letran strengths. Okay, everything that we've seen, sa let sa step ladder sa tournament ano yung strength sa Letran that will give them a chance against San Beda like any other Letran team from the past yung gulang nila I believe that may mga veterano sila don they have players there who played in the big league I mean when you talk about the MPBL uh, you have Larry Muyang underneath you have uh, ah, kalimutan Ular Ular ato Ular ato Ular those two guys to me even though they are at a height disadvantage kung baga mag magikipaglaban Umaga, you can expect Letran to bring that attitude na nothing to lose. Kayo yung favorites, underdog kami. We're gonna fight for our spot. Also, Jeric Balanza coming back from that uh, that surgery. Fran Yu, one of those guys na lalaban at lalaban lang. So, I believe yun yung dadali nilang mentality. Technically, yung technical side nung, nung kailangan gawin ng Letran, I'm sure Coach Bonitan will have that all that covered. But it, it's the attitude and the mentality that Letran Knights will bring. Yun yung mga kakuha sa kanilang. Kasi si Borgi nga, pinagdadasal niya, Letran will be that Letran will be physical. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. Yan ang gusto mo, di ba? Uh, yes, kasi nung naglalaro ako when I was playing back in college days, talagang physical eh. Yo, Pag sinabi mo, Letran is physical sa'yo nun. Dami, sila Melegrito. <laughs> <laughs> si Kodja. <laughs> so, for me, parang there's no other way to beat San Beda. Exactly. Again, hindi ako biased, ha? Totoo uh, <laughs> naman, totoo naman. I think, no I think it's safe to, to say. Yes, safe there's to no say. other way to beat San Beda. Yeah. Pero, ano ka na lang, maging physical ka na lang underneath the rim. Yung mga guards ng San Beda, play yeah. physical on them. Baka sakaling magkaroon ng chance. Can, can you be physical against Nelly? Kasi sa, para sa iyo, yun yung susi. You have to stop Evan Nelly. Well, of course, sabi ko nga, you, you, you stop... Evan Nelly, kasi here, pick your poison eh. Pick your poison. Hindi mo kayang stop lahat eh. Si Donald, si Jay Octana, the MVP, Kue Kue Te, you cannot stop them all. So you have to pick your poison, choose one lang who to stop, and that's Evan Nelly. Yeah. Why? Kasi siya yung, siya yung league leading in assists. So siya yung nag-orchestrate, eh baka pag in-stop mo si Nelly, hindi maging productive si Kue Kue Te, yeah. Octana, and Donald Tankua. Yeah, he, he has the keys to the offense. Obviously, Coach Boyd has given him the free the freedom to do what he needs to do. He's trying, and I think with Evan, yes, he can score. We all know him as a scorer actually coming off of the Red Cups program. But the way he molded his game to fit your pieces around him. Like what he said, you have to pick your poison. You, it's, it's tough to stop Tangkwa. All of all of them at the same time. So, kailangan, dun ka sa taong, kumbaga, sino yung susi, sino yung driver ng boat coach ng, ng San Beda. Mag magagaling talaga point card na San Beda ever since. Ay, talaga? Kala <laughs> ko magugulan talaga yung mga point card. Ay, yes, mababa yan. <laughs> Sorry ha, pero pagdating sa mga red cups sa point card, Ermida pa yung <laughs> favorite ko eh. Yan pa rin ang favorite ko. Uh, does that mean if you stop Evanelli, you get to stop San Beda from running. It's really something that you have to pick your poison because of all the talent na in the San Beda Red, Red Lions team. Is, you, know nga, you have to stop your biggest chance. It's not a foolproof game plan that if you stop Evan, but you know, there's a big chance. But if you, sabi nga, if you stop Evan, you can't stop Evan. You're just hoping for the si best. Oh, hoping for the best. But then, yun 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 eh, for Litran, nothing to lose. You just have to give yourself a chance. And that chance will come from stopping the one-handed basketball. 
di ba? Unleash yes. the basketball oh. for the longest time for San Beda. <laughs> Especially, ano to, ha? Game 3 series, ha? Oh. So, hindi natin alam kung sino may advantage kasi with yeah. San Beda, hindi sila uh, long layoff sila, eh. Mm-hmm. Tagal ng break nila. So, y- hindi natin alam kung paano yung approach nila going to this game. Oh, game 1 will be critical. If you're oh, Letran, yeah, game 1 oh, is your chance. Kasi walang advantage, eh. Hindi naman siya tries to beat. But with Letran naman, galing sila sa game, two games before this finals, hindi natin alam kung may disadvantage ba yun or advantage. Kasi ako, for a player, mas gusto ko yung naglalaro rin talaga. Oh, eh. Kasi may momentum so, ka. Yes, may momentum. So, hindi natin alam kung sino ang magtitake ng tamang approach going to the finals. Yeah. But, Mikey, you feel na, and I'm going to use your words, huh? San Beda is too talented, too talented here in the finals. Yeah, it's just like at four MVP contenders in one team, four All-Stars, obviously, and that, that last fi- that final piece but to that five, either Duligas or Soberano, has that outside shot, that threat also. So I just believe that they're too talented. Um, yung chance nga lang ng Letran is kung gulangan nila, hanapan na nila ng paraan. Pero in terms of talent, and then how Coach Boyet all throughout the season, kaya naman sila 18-0, it's because the complacency never hit the San Beda Red Lions. And you can see, it starts from the coach. So I just feel that they're too talented na well-coached pa. 18-0 na pala sila. 18 na sila. <laughs> <laughs> kaya gusto niya mag-game 3. Hindi dahil, <laughs> San Beda pa rin naman daw. Pero, pero yung record niya eh. Mas baka masisira, baka masisira eh. Kaya <laughs> 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 All right, thanks guys for that uh, NCA Finals uh, preview. Uh, Borgia and Lida and uh, Mike Torres, thank you. This has been The Score. I'm Miko Halili. You can also watch The Score on I Want for free. And we'll leave you now with the launch of Manolite's My Vision Plan featuring MVPs of different sports who share their inspiring sports journeys. We'll see all of you again tomorrow. Hey, we said that, sir. is on the top na dapat hindi mo kung ba't pinaghihirapan ito na hindi mo basta na lang nakukuha dinadaanan mo to sa sa sipag tiyaga determination para makuha mo ito yung MVP So we have today with us some of the luminaries some of Philippine sports and we're quite honored to have them here and in any sport there is typically an MVP someone who really takes their team or the country they represent we invited them here because it's that spirit of the most valuable player that we feel is also the role that my vision plan will play in the lives of Filipinos. We think this can be the MVP that will help them plan for their futures and achieve their goals and it will also be the MVP among all of the insurance plans out there. This product was really designed to address a lot of those concerns and a lot of those pain points. So, yung mga features niya are designed to meet the needs or the asks of the Filipino. So, it comes with a lot of guarantees. Guaranteed cash benefits, guaranteed lifetime protection, guaranteed paying period so you don't um, pay beyond what you have signed up. As we all plan for our futures, it's important to have protection for both ourselves and for our loved ones. But no matter what happens, we actually have a safety net that will keep us afloat. And that's what we uh, developed Manulife My Vision Plan.